happened to my brother? So that's the Lee Chen, look. How hard is it to do a role like this? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable doing it. It's more, it's more fun. I feel like everyone carries around all these complicated feelings, but most of the time you're just sort of having to get through your day, you know? And who else can go to their job and like sit in the corner and cry and yell at people and be, yeah. be cranky or be this or be whatever it is that they have to be and get paid for it? Uh, I, I, so I have to say I'm somewhat taken aback. He can't live with me. I live in one room. <laughs> well, but Joe has provided for Patrick's upkeep. Food, clothes, etc. And the house and the boat are owned outright. I can't commute from Boston every day until he turns 18. I think the idea was that you would relocate. Re relocate to where? Well, if you yeah. look, it's just, well, as you can see, you know, your brother worked everything out extremely carefully. Uh, but for, he can't have, yes, can't uh, have meant that. What makes Casey so good in this role? Well, he's just got this immense, sense, good, great sense of humor, this great sense of character, incredible commitment to telling the truth when he's acting, and a real profound understanding of what's going on with that, with that character. Uh, I don't want to talk about that You right said now. he left you money so you could move. Yeah, that doesn't mean... Anyway, what's in Boston? You're a janitor. So what? You could do that anywhere. There's plenty of toilets and clogged up drains all over town. I don't want to all talk All my friends that. are here. I'm on the hockey team. I'm on the basketball team. I got to maintain our boat now. I work on George's boat two days a week. I got two girlfriends, and I'm in a band. You're a janitor in Quincy. What the hell do you care where you live? It's a pretty beautiful movie in that way because it doesn't ever tell you, there's no message that it sort of crams down your throat. It shows you this landscape of, of people dealing with it in all their different ways of dealing with grief and loss and, and also dealing with sort of like the things that happened before the tragedy, how the, this husband and wife relate to each other and you know, all those dynamics seem, seem really authentically rendered. I know you've been around and I, I've just I been, thought- Just been getting Patrick settled in. It seems like he's doing pretty good, huh, considering? I think he is, yeah. I guess you don't know this, but I, uh, I really kept in touch with Joe. No, it's been kind of weird for me not seeing Patrick. Oh, oh okay, I, I didn't know. Uh, you could see him if you want. Could I... we ever have lunch? Life is, can be very difficult. Mm -hmm. Life can be very unbearable, and life can be very painful, and I think that anything that tells the truth about that is, helps people get through it in some way. I hope it does. And there's also a lot of humor in the film, because life, for some reason or other, remains very <laughs> funny. I don't know why. Oh, yeah? How many beers do you have on the sea? Eight. Eight? Yep. Eight, over a seven-hour period, which... Wow, I am well impressed is 1.1428572 beers an hour. Boy, it's like you didn't even have anything to drink at all. Yeah, I told you I was cutting down. Oh, God, no, oh, what do you think you're gonna do? I guess I'm gonna take a shower. The awards uh, season is, is good for promoting the films and it's good for getting people to see the films. It's wonderful to be recognized by your peers. Most of the people have pretty good taste and if they're responding to the material that you've done, you know, it means that you've, it's connected. I've done a lot of movies where you just work really hard and you don't reach anyone. It don't connect, it doesn't land. Um, and when it does, it, it, it's meaningful.